Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on Jacobians part 2. In this session, we are going to solve few more problems on Jacobian. If u is equal to y square by x, v is equal to x square by y, then find dou of x comma y divided by dou of u comma v. So as I said, we should not bother about whatever they give. You just bother about whatever you can able to find. Then we can match with the question. So from the given problem, it is given that u is equal to y square by x, v is equal to x square by y. Now make the table. That is, you can think it as our step one. Once you make the table, if you find ux, uy, vx, vy, then we can easily get the Jacobian. So we have to find ux, uy, vx, vy. And we know the basic differentiation formula which we have discussed in the class earlier. I will just write the formula. Those who forgot, you can just have a recap. Differentiation of x power n is n into x power n minus 1. Suppose the x power n is in the denominator. Differentiation of 1 by x power n is very simple. Minus n divided by x power n plus 1. If it is in numerator, we have plus n. If it is in denominator, we have minus n. For numerator, we have to subtract n with 1. For denominator case, we have to add n with 1. Now let us find u x. So x is in the denominator. Its power is 1. Now you go here. 1 by x is minus 1 divided by x power 1 plus 1, 2. Then y square is constant. So u x is minus y square by x square. When you go for u y, 1 by x is constant. Differentiation of y square is 2y. Similarly, when you come for vx, 1 by y is constant. Differentiation of x square is 2x. When you go for vy, x square is constant. 1 by y differentiation, that is, differentiation of 1 by y is minus 1 divided by y power 1 plus 1 is 2. So, I am writing directly. Now, step 1, my table gets over. Step 2, you have to do the Jacobian from the table. It is very easy. Just you are going to copy the data. J is equal to my dependent variable are u and v. My independent variable are x and y. So ux, uy, vx, vy. And this is the convenient for form for me because I can just copy the data from here. And now copy the right hand side and expand the determinant, get the answer. Minus y square by x square, 2y by x, 2x by y, minus x square by y. Now if you expand this, we will be getting the solution. Minus y square by x square into minus x square by y square minus 2xy into 2y by x. Yeah. Now x square x square will get cancelled. Then y square y square get cancelled. Minus into minus plus will be getting 1. Similarly xx get cancelled and also yy get cancelled will be getting 4. So 1 minus 4 is going to be minus 3. My solution is minus 3. Now, this is for dou of u comma v divided by dou of x comma y. Now, let us go to the question. We found j equal to dou of u comma v divided by x comma y that is minus 3. But check the question now. This is quite opposite. So, we take this as j dash is equal to dou of x comma y divided by dou of u comma v. Don't do anything. Just do the reciprocal. Finish the problem. That's it. Maybe inside somewhere write like this. j j dash is equal equal to 1 by property. So it is obvious and it is understandable. Then students. Next we are going to solve a very different problem. Given u is equal to 2xy, v is equal to x square minus y square, x equal to r cos theta, y equal to r sin theta. Four informations are given to us. Then they are telling to find dou of u comma v divided by dou of r comma theta. So we should be very careful here because u and v are functions of x and y. x and y are functions of r and theta. But now they are asking dou of u comma v divided by dou of r comma theta. So it is very simple. If you think you can easily get this problem. My formula is nothing but dou of u comma v divided by dou of r comma theta. uv is a function of xy. xy is a function of r theta. So the formula will be changed like this. dou of u comma v divided by dou of x comma y into dou of x comma y divided by dou of r comma theta. So now we have to find this Jacobian and this Jacobian and multiply will be getting the answer. No issues because every information is already given to us. Now we have to make two tables. First, u is equal to 2xy, v is equal to x square minus y square. Therefore, 
I can find ux ui from here. Make the table ux is going to be 2y is constant, differentiation of x is 1. ui is 2x is constant, differentiation of y is 1. vx, differentiation of x square is 2x. There is no x term in the second one, it is 0. vy, first term there is no y, it is 0. Second term y square that is minus 2y. Therefore, now dou of u comma v divided by dou of x comma y. Just copy the formula from the table as I said. This is the most convenient idea for me. So ux, uy, vx, vy. Now copy the right hand side. 2y, 2x, 2x minus 2y. Now expanding this, we'll be getting 2y into minus 2y minus 2x into 2x. So minus 4 minus 4y square minus 4x square. I can write it as minus 4x square y square. So we'll see at the end. Now this part gets over. You can see the overview of the problem. Now let us go into the second part. Second part we have already done. The first problem we did in our Jacobian is the second part. Okay, anyway, I'll do it again. X equal to R cos theta, Y equal to R sin theta. So immediately make the next table. I'm going to find XR, X theta, YR, Y theta. So XR is cos theta because differentiation of R is 1. X theta is cos theta differentiation is minus sin theta. R is constant. So minus R sin theta. YR is going to be sin theta. And y theta is going to be sin theta differentiation is cos theta or remains constant. Now we have to find the Jacobi dou of x comma y divided by dou of r comma theta. So cos theta sin theta minus r sin theta r cos theta. Now when you multiply, when you expand this r cos square theta minus of minus plus r sin square theta. We know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. If we take r commonly out, we can apply. Therefore, my answer is r. Now we have to write whatever we found. Dou of u comma v divided by dou of x comma y is minus 4 x square plus y square. Then dou of x comma y divided by dou of r comma theta, it is going to be r. Now I want to find dou of u comma v divided by r comma theta. Very, very important student. When you want to find something final answer, see your denominator. My answer should be in terms of r and theta alone. But now let us see this. Do of u comma v divided by do of r comma theta is do of u comma v do of x comma y into do of x comma y divided by do of r comma theta. So we will be getting minus 4 x square plus y square into r. This can't be my final answer. The reason is this is in terms of x, y. Now we know our x. x is r cos theta. y is r sin theta. So now x square is r square cos square theta. y square is r square sin square theta. Therefore, when I add this x and y square, it will become r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta. So it is simply r square because when I take this r square outside, I will be using the formula sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Therefore, we will get minus 4 r square into r. My final answer is minus 4 r cube. Hope you understand students. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.